goofy hands free rotisserie. Just to make sure we're all on the same page, this is what we mean when we say rotisserie. And if you swap the starting leg, this would be goofy rotisserie, which is easier because the base's legs don't cross. Taking away the hands makes it hands free goofy rotisserie. First, we're going to look at the flyer's points in detail. Number one, side stand, no hands. Anchor the bottom leg, extend the torso. Hold your body in one plane perpendicular to the base. Don't be a banana. Try your best to have a straight line from your shoulder to your top ankle. As the move starts, be really patient and wait for the base's foot to get into position before you roll. And when you do roll, make sure you roll leading with the hip. As you can see, throughout the transition, the flyer remains with wide straddle. When doing this move, only go halfway. Treat it as a unique pose and do your best to stay completely horizontal. When the base is ready to lead the rest of the move, all you do is a slight roll from the hip, anchor the leg, extend the torso, be in one plane and have a straight line from your shoulder to your ankle. Now we're going to look at the base's points in detail. From hands-free side star, you need to mono-squat your flyer. This is not easy and it will take some time before your muscles stop screaming at you. Stay focused, become zen and expand your stable range of motion. Reaching with your heel instead of your toes will save you an inch on your squat. For extra stability, you can use your heel against the flyer's belly as you're reaching for the foot placement. When your foot is in position, let the flyer know you're ready for them to roll. Slowly transition to the halfway point. Here, the flyer's weight should be evenly distributed across both feet. Lead the next half of the transition by squatting the receiving leg and delivering with the delivery leg. Slowly straighten up into side stand. There you have it. Goofy hands free rotisserie. Here is an extra tip for both flyer and base. If you want the effortless feeling in your execution, just do it slowly for two weeks. Move frame by frame. Always be where you are and not where you're going. It will build up accurate, stable muscle memory.